Hi, welcome back to my channel, She Talk Systems. My name is Nicola and I am so excited to bring you another video today. We are going to be talking about how you can actually use ClickUp in the same way that you use Trello. So for all of you Trello users out there who are side eyeing ClickUp and not thinking that ClickUp can actually deliver, I'm going to use this video to show you that ClickUp actually can help you improve your processes and help you improve your project management. So this is by no means a competition style video. I guess in some ways it is, but I hope you find this video helpful. If you have been wondering what are the differences between ClickUp and Trello, if you like things like the board view, if you like to be able to move your task cards into different stages, I'm going to walk you through how you can do that inside of ClickUp. So definitely stick around for today's video. So if you are new to my channel, a warm welcome to you. Definitely make sure you hit subscribe and stick around. We drop a new video every week. So I want to make sure that you don't miss out on the new content that is being uploaded onto the channel. So let's dive into today's video. Okay, so for this video, I am inside of my own ClickUp and we are going to recreate this content creation list and we are going to recreate this as if you were viewing it in Trello. So if you like to use the board views and see your workflows like Kanban boards in Trello, we are going to recreate this inside of this ClickUp list. So every list in ClickUp starts with a task list. So that's what this is. So by default, we have the main list and this is the list view. So we can see we've got lots of content that is ready to be planned and created and worked on and then we have along the top or along the sides all of these are custom fields so we have various custom fields in place so we have the due date of the task we have the assignee we've got the published date of when the um, content needs to be published we've got marketing stages which will come to shortly and then we've got graphic types we've got the platforms that the content is for any call to actions. And um, so these are all drop down fields that we have and then the fields to say if it's been scheduled and content topics as well. So if we have a theme for this particular type of content, we can add in themes. So for your custom fields, you can add a column. And if you want to create a new custom field, you can add in from any of the columns below, or if you have custom fields in your library already, you can select from your existing custom fields. And you can also see what fields you have already attached to your task list that might be hidden. So these are all of the active fields, but if I hide any fields in this particular task list, then these are the fields that are hidden. So you can see all of this information here. But we don't want to view the tasks in this format. We want to view them like a board. So at the top, we have an option to add in or manipulate the views that we want to see in this ClickUp list. So we can click on add view and we have the option to add a board view. So this is what will allow you to be able to build your perfect board and drag and drop tasks between your columns, something you'll be very familiar with within Trello already. This can be a private view and you can also pin this view as well. So you can click on add view and all that will do is add it to the top of your task list. Now I already have a board view at the top of this particular list so we're going to click straight into that. Now what you'll see is that all of the tasks automatically load in the board view. So whatever tasks that you have they will automatically show inside of your board view at the top. But what you will see is that we are showing these tasks based on the status of the tasks. So the tasks that are ready to do, the tasks that are in progress, the tasks that are ready for review, these are the statuses. And the statuses can be found under the list settings. So you go to your list settings, list statuses, these are the status options. So if I do want to change any of these, I can. I use these particular statuses across my ClickUp workspace, so I won't change anything here. But these are the statuses. Now, I don't want to view my tasks in this way. I actually want to view my tasks differently. So what we're going to do is at the top, you'll notice an orange status. And I'm going to group this instead of by status. I'm going to group these tasks by the custom field and I want to group them based on a stage. So I'm going to use my marketing stage. OK, now my marketing stage is my workflow. So ClickUp says, do you want to save this view? I absolutely do. And so now we are seeing things a bit differently. 
So at the top, I've got a view of all of the different stages of my marketing workflow. So what is my ideation stage versus what's in copy stage, what's in graphic creation. And then we have some review stages. So we've got what's in review versus what needs to be edited, what's in revision. And then these are tasks that need to be are approved to schedule. So we do need to clean this board up view just a little bit and make sure that everything is um, correct. And then you'll see here we have an empty view. So any tasks that do not have an assigned stage, they will be found inside of the empty columns. So if we open this up, I'm able to actually see what's been going on inside of this task. This task was created quite an old one. So that's fine. Um, and so what I can see is all of the custom fields. So I can see the content type and um, what it should be so this should be a social media post call to action let's put book a call in there the graphic type looks like we'll need it to be an educational graphic I've got some details inside of the um, task itself and then publish date platform let's just say for Instagram um, and then we can also show some additional fields so the marketing stage is what needs to be added in so we'll pop that into the graphic stage and then we can leave that as is so that's fine. So you'll see that task has now moved or has been moved across. So not all of these tasks may be in the correct stage versus the status. And if you haven't seen my video on list statuses versus using custom fields or using stages, I definitely would suggest going to check that out as well on the channel. So I now have all of my tasks and I want to ensure that they are actually in the correct stage. So I can now drag and drop. So I can drag and drop all of these that have the green status on. I know that they are ready to do. It's going to tell me what the stages status is. But perhaps I also want to show various things as well. So a couple of things. I want to be able to show where my task is so I can see the location. I want to show the assignee. That's fine. I can choose to collapse the empty column. So the column that you just saw, I can actually choose to collapse that column. And then I can actually add on custom fields that I want to view as well. I might say, what is the published date? If I add that in, it's going to update the card for me so I can see what the published date is. I might also want to see what the content type is. Is social media posts? That's what we're creating. Also, let's see, perhaps we want to see what the graphic type is. So as you can see, it's actually populating the card a bit more. So if you have a team, they can get an overview on, oh, this is the published date. This is the type of content that's been created and the type of graphic. If a graphic isn't needed, then I have a stage in there that just says non-applicable. So that's in gray. Um, but I also have different types of graphics. So we've got educational graphics, we've got a quote, we've got a graphic for branded headshots. So one of my branded graphics, that's perfect. So I can also have a look and see, well, is everything in the right stage? So this is ready for review. So we've got it's in the copy stage, but it is in review. So I'm going to move it across so we know it's ready to be reviewed. So that's fine. These ones are to do. So We've got graphics, so they might actually be graphic creation tasks. So I'm really making this up in a way just for the purposes of the video, but you can see how we can organize our workflow and create a more of a Trello vibe in this particular board. Now, what if this is actually in progress? So uh, I'm gonna move these across. They may have edits that need to be done. So I'm just gonna pop them into the edits field. So that's all good. Okay, so another thing that you might want to do within your boards in ClickUp is actually add in some cover images. So if you do like having cover images in your Trello boards, you can do the same inside of ClickUp. So the way that you'll be able to do that is you'll have to create a new task card so I've created a new task card. This is the title of this particular stage or column. So I've opened it up and then what I'm going to do is hit browse. Now I've created some board cover pictures in Canva and so I'm just going to upload these directly into the task itself. So these are my ClickUp board covers. You'll see that you've got an attachment attached here so you can always delete it if you wish and add a new one. But what happens is that you then have your image cards attached to each task. So I'm going to go ahead and do this for all of my 
boards and actually add in the images so that they show really nicely. So if you do like to have that as part of your board view in Trello, this is something else that you're able to do. So I'm gonna add in all of my graphics and if you do want to have um, access to these graphics, I actually have them inside of my ClickUp plug and play bundle, which I will link below in the comments section and you'll be able to grab that if you wish. My ClickUp plug and play bundle actually is a full ClickUp bundle. So you'll be able to use those templates inside of your own ClickUp setup. So we're going to add in all of these images and you can see it's literally taking me two seconds to add in all of these images and I'm going to pop them in on all of my cards but it already changes the whole view of my board view already. It just makes it actually more on brand. I quite like it. So there we go. So once you've added in your images, you'll be able to see all of these. So these will be like the first card. So you won't necessarily change these throughout the stages, but then you'll still have access to see all of your task cards below as well. So this is super cool if you do like to have this element inside of Trello and you want to maintain it as you're using ClickUp and bring in your workflow into ClickUp as well. So that is exactly how you can set up your ClickUp and manage your workflows in the same way that you might be doing inside of Trello. I really hope that you enjoyed that video. Definitely let me know how you enjoyed it by clicking like on this video and sharing your comments as well. And if you haven't yet subscribed, I highly invite you to subscribe so that you can catch our new videos that drop every single week on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.